the cyber currency phenomenon. Investing a few dollars several years ago could have made you millions today. Cryptocurrency Bitcoin has once again defied naysayers by spiking above $18,000 at one point today. Bitcoin hits a new high. We had this incredible run up in the fall. What do you think the future of Bitcoin is like? I think that very easily we could see Bitcoin going up to 50,000. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, for those of you who don't know, is an electronic online currency. So what do you think about Bitcoin? That basic technology shows that digital can do these things very cheaply. Um, and so the view is that over the next 15 years, that type of material will be wildly better. We're investors in Bitcoin and Ethereum and some, some of those other currencies. Cryptocurrency first began with Bitcoin. It was an idealistic community with dreams of financial independence. This community is switching to what they think is a better monetary system. A system in which banks are no longer needed because payments could be made directly from one person to another. There are about 1.8 billion people in the world today who have a cell phone but don't have access to any financial services. And what's really powerful about cryptocurrency is that it lets anybody, if you just have a smartphone and internet connection, participate in the global economy. And I don't necessarily have to go through a middleman like a, like a bank or a credit card company. If we were building a financial system from scratch today, we do it on a digital platform. It's a big responsibility, but with more than two and a half billion people invest in their productivity and ultimately to help lift them out of poverty. So thinking that, that it's too late to get involved in Bitcoin is like thinking it's too late to get involved with the internet or too late to get involved with using a cell phone.